Well, I was hostage at the airport yesterday, waiting on a canceled 4.30 flight, then waiting for my rebooked 9.05 flight, which then finally left at 10.50. <laughs> I couldn't help notice how airline agents handle the disgruntled travelers. Some do it well. Others have difficulty offering an outright apology, an expression of, we're concerned because we made a mistake and did something wrong. Agents personally, of course, do not make such decisions to cancel flights, but airlines send them to the front lines to represent the company without equipping them with the right message or the right attitude. There was no weather problem, neither was there a mechanical problem. Messengers were left to guess why the first flight was canceled. Flight night full, unprofitable, probably. We don't know. No explanation about delays on the second flight either, except waiting on a plane. No reason they couldn't announce us 200 passengers plus people standing around at the gate wondering what happened. As the various agents grew more nonchalant and sullen about answering questions, the passengers grew angrier and angrier and angrier. Failure to admit mistakes and poor service leads to outrage. Failure to express concern leads to bitterness. Survivors, even dying victims, forgive mistakes. They don't forgive unconcern. Concern, on the other hand, connects people. In whatever situation, from product recall to layoffs to employee illnesses, there's tremendous power in communicating concern.